Good morning, I'm Neva Reddy Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Monday, 20th of November. In this update, Chris Hipkin's patience waiting for the government to be formed appears to be wearing thin. Speaking as Labour's leader, he's called for a ceasefire in Gaza. Hipkins made it clear he was doing so as he can no longer wait until the new government is formed to speak out. I conceded the election over five weeks ago. Um, my boxes were packed several weeks ago. We are ready to hand over the keys just as soon as the incoming government are ready to sort themselves out and do that. The man who will replace Hipkins as Prime Minister says negotiations are close to an end. Chris Luxon's gearing up for yet another round of negotiations today as he and his would-be coalition partners continue to spar over the last few details. He says there are just three issues left to negotiate and he's confident he can find agreement with ACT in New Zealand First. We have differences of opinion between the parties. There's trade-offs needed between all of us. Uh, that's where we're at and um, that's, that's what we've got to go keep working at and keep trying to resolve. Luxon won't say what those last three sticking points are. Hundreds of travellers will be hoping to get to Wellington today after fog disrupted dozens of flights last night. At least 35 Air New Zealand and Sounds Air flights in and out of the capital were affected. Among them, a 4.30pm Air New Zealand flight from Auckland to Wellington that was forced to turn back just before touching down after being unable to land. Long queues have been reported at Auckland Airport with people trying to rebook flights. A popular Auckland mall is apologising after shoppers were left trapped inside the car park on Saturday afternoon. Some customers at Westfield Newmarket report sitting in their cars for at least three hours while queuing for the exits. A spokesperson says the mall offered additional complimentary parking and lifted the boom gates to ease traffic flow. Meanwhile, Newmarket Business Association Chief Executive Mark Knopf thomas says it was a perfect storm. The weather, coupled with Black Friday pre-sales and the beginning of Christmas shopping, meant everybody was out and about and the roads were very congested. Te Whatu Order has managed to complete just three of the 101 recommendations a task force made 13 months ago to improve wait times. The Plant Care Task Force made the suggestions as one of the first major pieces of work post the switch from DHPs. 70 have implementation or planning underway, while 28 have not been active at all. Independent health commentator Ian Powell says recommendations were only going to be achievable if workforce issues were sorted. There's no silver bullet to recover in the Hauraki Gulf, but scientists have laid out a pathway to get there. A state of the Gulf report set 150 years from now envisages restored shellfish species, a seafloor healed from trawling and cleaner waters. It would demand an end to bottom impact fishing, putting 30% of the Gulf in protected areas and reducing runoff and plastic pollution. In sport, Australia have won Cricket's World Cup in Ahmedabad, chasing 241 to beat India by six wickets with seven overs to spare. Man of the match, Travis Head, made 137 off 120 balls. Rugby Australia chairman Hamish McLennan has been ousted during an emergency late-night board meeting. World Cup winning Wallaby Daniel Herbert replaces him. Max Verstappen has secured a record-extending 18th victory of the season as Formula One returned to Las Vegas for the first time in 41 years. I'm Neva Reti Manu. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.